I'm going to freeze dry some paste picante sauce so we can use it later on taco night or burrito Thursday. I'm going to put it in the pans, uh, 250 grams on each side, so about a cup on each side. Okay, 250 on that side, and then go to 500 total on this side. All right. And then that can go in the freezer to pre-freeze. And we'll have one cup blocks on each side. And do the same thing again. Okay. Do a couple more pans with, without the divider, so a full two cups. So now get them into the freezer for pre-freezing. So I've got the salsas frozen and as usual I've got the 500 gram trays. Oh yeah, those come out real nice. And again, it's not actually salsa, it's paste picante sauce, but it's what I like for salsa. And that and the homemade, and I haven't made the homemade in a while, so I should probably make some again. But these just pop right out. All right. Oh, well, that smells good. So these I'll just put in a Ziploc bag until I'm ready to do the other ones, because the freeze dryer is full now. So the last thing in this batch is going to be the paste picante sauce. Ah, oh, that looks good now. I'm gonna put the fan in the door opening to dry it out and defrost it and ready to go for the next time. Got them out. I'm gonna bag them in the Mylar bags. Wow, oh, well, that is so tasty. It's so much spicier than it was when it was wet. That's amazing. So I'm putting it in the Mylar bags. And then I'll seal it up with an oxygen absorber. So the bags are kind of big, but I don't want to crush them or anything. So I'm just going to break them in half. And so it's an oversized bag, but it, that'd be okay. And just out of interest, this, this was 500 grams, and now it's 55 grams. Okay, I'll take the other one, break it in half also. Well, break it, not necessarily half. Yeah, definitely oversized bag, but I'm going to use some of it fairly soon anyway. So, freeze-dried paste picante sauce. Uh, one cup in the one bag and two cups in each of the other two. And then I'll do oxygen absorbers and then seal them up. All right. Zip them closed. Kind of push out some of the extra air. and seal them up. Okay, so with those sealed, they're ready for storage. Uh, minced garlic, and I'm gonna add some of the paste picante sauce that's been freeze dried, because I want the, some of that, but I didn't want to add more liquid to the slow cooker. And the paste picante sauce. So, got one cup of the salsa. 